This is experiment four, decomposition of sodium bicarbonate, propagation of errors. Now propagation of errors deals uh, with, at least the way that we're going to be using it, with instrumental errors. And I've done some preliminary work to show that each time you use the scale, at least that I have purchased, to um, get to uh, weigh something that the scale has an inherent accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.04 grams. Now, ideally, this number comes from the owner's manual, and it tells you exactly what it is. But because my scale didn't have it, I used the calibration mass of 100 grams over a series of weeks to estimate that the reproducibility of numbers was plus or minus 0 0.04 grams. This makes sense because this last digit, the hundreds place, there is some knowledge about what that last digit is, but some uncertainty in it as well. And so when we have five significant figures right here, we have 124.0, those we definitely know for sure, and we have a good idea or some information at least about this last digit as reflected by plus or minus 0 0.04 grams. This number goes for any time we use the scale, and so we've used the scale for each of these measurements. Okay. Now, um, and so the first part of doing propagation of errors is getting the error for each of these numbers as an estimate, and estimating is an art and a science together. But then propagation of errors says, okay, if we know the errors for each of these numbers, then when we do math with these numbers, how does the error propagate through the calculation? And in the introduction to the lab, I've shown you an example of how the error propagates through this calculation to get 15.15 grams of sodium bicarbonate. I have not shown you how it goes to get 9.60 grams of uh, sodium carbonate. So let's do that right now. Each of these numbers is plus or minus 0 0.04 grams. And the question is, what is the error of this number right here? So uh, as the lab states, and there is an example, uh, and it's very similar to the example for the sodium bicarbonate, but the example goes like this. The errors or the error for 9.60 is the sum of the squares of the errors. So sigma, which is the error in the number 9.60, is going to equal the error in each of these numbers. Even though it's subtraction, the errors are added. 0.04 squared plus 0 0.04 squared equals the error for this number. I will now uh, write that in. So 0 0.04 squared plus 0 0.04 squared. Sum it, then take the square root. I have to hit the shift button to get my square root. I get 0 0.056 six, and some more digits, but since I have 0 0.05, uh, I'll just keep it right there. 0 0.0566, and this is grams, and this is uh, plus or minus, but when I write the whole number, I'm gonna write 9.60 grams, plus or minus 0 0.0566 grams sodium carbonate. And that is one example of how to propagate errors. Propagating errors when you do multiplication and division is uh, different, that's for sure. There is an example in the introduction to the lab. Please ask your instructor if you have any questions about it, but also please mirror your work after the type of work that's done in the introduction to the lab.